Let's go. I'm James Clark, and this is how I career. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Natasha Clark, and this is how I career. I am currently the commander of the 194th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion here on Camp Humphreys. We're always on a mission or some type of support, so there is no uh, typical nine to five for this type unit. Um, you'll hear a lot of people say the slogan, fight tonight, especially when you're second infantry division, we're second to none, so it's fight tonight for us. And one of the things I can say is that the mission that we do every day is the actual mission we were to do um, should contingency arise. I'm the Transformation Chief here at USAG Humphreys. We bring together all of the agencies on post to make transformation a reality. I'm a retired military. I've seen how the Army has transformed from the late 90s to now. All of the amenities are here. All of the sports and uh, entertainment that you would get back in the States on a typical DOD base you get here at Korea. We uh, currently live in the new towers um, here on Camp Humphreys. The point that I really like about the place is convenient for our children. It's literally a 100 meter walk to their school, 50 meter walk to the after school program, the SAC, the CYS, and then we're right back here at the towers. Humphreys, as big as it is, it is a small community and it is like a family community. Uh, the kids can go outside and I don't have to worry like if someone's out there or if someone's gonna, you know, take your children. Cause here everything is safe, it's secure. So this is our second time in Korea. Uh, my husband and I actually got married here back in 2008. It was great to be able to come back to Korea, um, come back to this battalion. This is my second time in this battalion. So I was a company commander in this battalion in one of the companies. And so getting the chance to come back and command at the 05 level, it's, it's been amazing. Um, what we've seen over this last 12 years since we've come back is that Korea has really grown, um, not so much the size of the country, but the culture itself. This is not your grandfather or your father's Korea. When I go back to the States and people that have not been to Korea in the last 10, 15 years, the perception is still of a infrastructure that's not here. And that is totally, totally uh, the wrong perception. If there's a, a fear factor or anxiety about wanting to come overseas, not wanting to live off base, you don't have to have that fear. We have the restaurants here, the bowling alley is now open, you know, the golf course is now open, we have two movie theaters. Because it is such a, uh, a great place to live, not stealing from Fort Hood, but it is the great place, you know, so. <laughs>